Hello all and welcome to my first episode of a course review. Today I will be playing Buckeye Tears Basin Tour by Go Blue Brad. I know Brad personally. Yeah, I, I would regard Brad as a friend of mine. Um, I know he's put a lot of work into this course. He's, he's got a lot of he's done a few, fair few of your versions to get this correct and I believe without asking I believe this is his final version if you look on the course details it's past 72 um, it's firm firm and fast um, I believe it's not going to be too far away from actually getting a uh, a rating in there of a handicap so hopefully it won't be long before that happens uh, I know that this is uh, on the Red Fast review this week as well, which is obviously handy for Brad. Um, today I will be playing from the back tees. Uh, I've put all pins on just so that can be randomised, so you can see a bit of everything. I've left everything else on default code. So here we go, let's, uh, let's get straight into it. Never looked at this, always said to Brad that I'd play it at one point or the other, and this is that time. So here we go. <coughs> Short par five to finish, to finish, to start, sorry. 509 yards, I've got consumable ball on, so I'm playing a friction. I'm quietly confident that gets me over there, but what I'm intrigued here, off the tee, it's uphill by a little bit, but look at this second shot. That looks pretty decent. Flag is certainly one you don't want to be missing left on. That, that, that looks like a cert there. Um, I haven't swung a club today, so I will have a few swings and just try and get my tempo right. I'm playing this on master swing, basically TGC settings, so. Here we go, it's a slow, hopefully the wind helps me. Hopefully that settles down short of that bunker. But we've nailed it practically 360. 360 on the dot. Okay, so. Do not want to miss left. And also I believe, if you miss it a touch long, it's no problem. Left is a big no-no on this hole, though. That is for certain. So, this will be playing roughly around... I'll do my mathematics. That's going to be 216, 205. I'm going to hit this and just hope that we can bounce that up there. I'm not sure it will, but... We just can't miss left. Hit a bit of a slow now. That needs to have a really, really big bounce. Okay. The second shot of the day, it's, it's, it's all right. <laughs> it's, it's nothing special, that's for certain. Now, using these balls, we do get a bit of spin, so... Hopefully, this should be... A nice birdie to start off with. We will take that. Overall, a hole. First hole. That is a really, really excellent par 5 in my opinion. It's short. But the elevation change for the second shot changes everything. Par 3. 158 yards. Wow, we. Um, There's not a lot of area there to land the ball on this flag, that is for certain. I think this is um, certainly one of the holes that you want to be looking at, just maybe getting it within 25 feet and giving yourself a chance. This, uh, this doesn't look easy. It really doesn't. That could be really good. I think it's going to be a touch too long. If it sits, stay there. That is probably the best result you can get. I'm very, very close to going down that hill. Very, very close. Let's see if we can go back to back. Mm. 
not quite possibly over hit a little bit but in all fairness i gave myself a chance at birdie i nearly made it that's a that's a tough par three especially that pin placement might be easier in other places to be fair but par five on the third hole let's have a little look in the map you possibly could Six hundred and eighteen yards. So even if you've hit driver, you're going to be hitting driver again. No matter. There's there's no real shortcut on this hole. There's no advantage. Shape looks good. Nice little dog leg. You've got to be over to the right side to be attacking. Looks like a a lot on this pin actually feeds in from where you go. I think hitting the green in two might not even be worth it. We'll see when we get down there. We'll put one out there and go from now. With a perfect, it's my normal, just slightly outside the box. Hopefully I'll get a good kick. If not, I will be laying up. I have got a nice kick, got very lucky. Um, my friend Carpy would be very proud of me for that. Okay. I think I will be taking this on. It's into the wind. I've got a slight downhill lie. I think I can get it here. Or around the green. Well, we got it there. Just not sure how it's going to finish. No doubt it's going to come back down that hill. I could be left with a terror putt here. And one thing I will be doing as well is even if uh, most societies and things uh, give you 75 foot, you can chip. I won't be. I'm at 102 foot here. Uh, maybe I would love to chip this on any normal day because I think that this is practically going to be impossible. But I put the ball here. And that's how we will play it. This could be an absolute nightmare. I am not going to be one to pretend otherwise. No doubt this will be a free putt par. And if that's the case, then that is the case. I'm playing, it, playing the ball as it lies. And in all fairness... It's not bad. It's not bad. Give a swing here. We always want to miss high. Hate missing low. Got it. We'll take that. That's an excellent two pups from there, if I must say so myself. My advice is if you play this, uh, and you're not a longer hitter, you've definitely got to lay up to a, to a nice little area. Hole four. Looks drivable from where I am. I would say with what I am using, um, I'm probably going to hit that too far. I am... I'm going to play safe. Whenever I normally do this, it normally goes horribly wrong, but... My swing's wrong there. <laughs> that should be in the bunker, which, do you know what? It shouldn't be a problem. But that's that's on me for putting a bad swing on it. Still nearly 300 yards, but nothing to be proud of, that's for certain. Floppy to play here. A little bit of spin. Just need to give ourselves a good chance. We've hit it well. And that's good enough for me. That's actually a uh, very, very challenging hole, just purely because. Just need to see that back line. It doesn't look like it's moving a lot. We can go for it. Um, that's a challenging little hole, that, to be honest, because um, especially wind behind on default, um, you can most certainly go long now, which obviously spells trouble. So I feel like laying up there will definitely be the play. Hole five. We have another short distance par four. I 
kind of feel as though that will be the play to play a slight draw into this and round these trees. Feel it perfect. My line is still just moving out to the right, which is seems to be my miss, if I'm honest with you. But we are in the middle of a fairway. We're going to give ourselves a good look at the second shot, which is playing just under a hundred yards. I think this could be just a nice, easy lob wedge. Might be a touch too long. We'll, we'll add a little bit of lob to it. Let's see what we can do with this. We've hit it perfect. If we've got everything else right, this should be really good. Come back if you want. Thank you. That's a good shot. Really, really pleased with that. Before I go any further with this, there's something I've just noticed. Can't obviously get a great deal of look at it, but that's, um, I'm not sure if that's, I assume that would be like some sort of apartment or a condo that Brad's made there. That's very good. Imagine sort of uh, living there, that would be, that'd be wonderful, but it does look good. All right, back we go to the putt. There we go. I know Brad has put in a considerable amount of work on this course. Um, so far, I think the first five holes have been excellent. Um, that par three was tough, my only par so far. And I'll tell you what, I don't think the par threes are going to get any easier. But I just need to have a little look here, because Brad's done lots of good planting at the back there. I like it, I think he's done an, an excellent job here, to be honest. Right, let's have a look at what we've got here. A lot feeds into the hole here, which is nice. Gives me um opportunity to try and knock this one close. Just need to work my yardage out. I think that that is probably the right club. Put a good swing on it. Slightly fast actually could help. Just need it on that level. Just hopefully it doesn't bounce up. Just need it to come back a little bit. Which it is. Not a lot. But we're giving ourselves a putt. Okay. Putting is a one part of my game I would really need to improve on. Probably more, more so my 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 aim is not great, but it's more my, my speed has always been a, an issue. So far I think everything's been scorable, but these par threes are, are tough. Oh look at this beaut. This is a beaut. I'm going to be sensible here and I'm going to play a slight fade. I don't think I will hit them anyway, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. The good thing is here is if you miss, it tends to possibly come back towards a hole. But if you get stuck on one of them levels on the right, what a nightmare that could be. I mean, look, look at this. Cutting down them two levels if you're on this top one here. Whew. What a cracking looking golf hole. Give it a bash. I don't think I can play that much better if I'm honest with you. Sit down. pretty good and the way I always look at it is yes it gives me a chance but if I don't make it I will always take the birdie without fail that first line is a bit of a killer never ever want to leave a putt low nice nice eagle that 
Very pleased. We will take that. Oh, four, eight. Yeah, again, not another long one. But certainly one you need to take good care on, I believe. I think this is definitely a free wood to put into position, which will probably leave you a wedge in. Yeah, we will take that straight down the middle. Any of water there for any uh, any guys hitting some fast. Some wind might catch you out on that tee shot because it is quite a tight shot. There is my wedge that I wanted. 113 to the flag. Sit down, Bolt. Spin back for me. Hitting these lob wedges slightly too long, but nothing too major. Giving ourselves another chance. And it's... Oof, I'll tell you what. Swung at the end a little bit there. Another birdie. Puts a seven under for eight. And... Uh, I'm not going to call them blemishes, but it's literally par threes that have caused me issues here. And this is another beaut here, but one thing I will be having a look at is what I would say would be the clubhouse. Or, or well, to be honest, I'd say this is the clubhouse. I did call it the house in the last one, but you can see from the previous screen from where I had a little look at this, but now I can have a good proper look. And to be honest, I think he's done a fantastic job there. That is a very, very cool modern clubhouse. I like it. I like it a lot, if I'm honest with you. Got a lot of time for it. I don't know if I can see a bit further on. I might not be able to, but surely that's the proper clubhouse. This could be the halfway hut. <laughs> I don't know. But look at this beauty here. Hopefully I can get to have a good look at that on another tee very shortly. But very, very nice. We like that a lot. Right, back to the golf. Uh, I think par threes could be the uh, the issue on this, this course for a lot of players. Everything else seems quite scorable. I think I'm going to end up in that little valley there. I've aimed a little bit too far to the right. It's fine, it seems like if I score on every other hole, the odd par on par three is not going to hurt. Just nothing sent, nothing stupid. This is a tough looking part. This is a lag it up there, get it within four to five feet. I feel like I've overhit that. It's not coming back. Here it comes. Not a pretty looking putt, but do you know what? There are no pictures on scorecards. That is a par. I am happy with that. Front nine, minus seven. More than happy with that, if I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, the tenth hole is a par five. Lots of water. No possible route for a shortcut. If we have a look on the map, it's going to be one of these where you're going to be looking at hitting driver driver purely. It's a, it's a long, long way. So I feel like just playing a... I'm going to play a fade into that wind and just hopefully hit the fairway. Scary looking tee shot. Fast was ideal there, slow, I think you are completely dead. You've got to put that down the middle. There's no other real way of looking at it, to be fair. It's a par five, hit the fairway, should give you your birdie. Should. Okay, look at this. This is a, uh, what a cracking looking view of this. A lot of this looks to be downhill, which means my three wood, could be perfect. 
could be in the keyword. Not necessarily hitting that fast. I may get lucky. I think it's going to stop short, but based upon line, I think that was not wasn't bad at all. I think if I was playing just to fault balls here, I could be in a spot of bother. But because I'm not, I've got a good chance of getting this to stop pretty quick. We'll take that. Yeah, it's a key for this hole. Find that fairway. It gives you an opportunity to go for it. If you miss the right, you're going to get a par. If not worse, depending on how you play your second shot. Hole 11 is a par 4. 417 yards. It's another one where you've got to be very, very precise with your tee shot. You miss left, you've got trees and everything up here you got your big mound and your big hills right well that's a no-no you can't go right you cannot go right i would assume and yes this is the adjacent hole to the last par five so you've got to be bang on here you, they, they, you cannot miss um i suppose because it's 417 you could probably hit a three words and it would still leave you a wedge in. Oh, I think that's the play. Do you know what? I'm going to hit a free iron. There's no need to go mad here. There is no need to go mental. It's, it's short by standards enough. This takes out all the trouble. I'm still hitting it nearly 270. What's the point? And to be fair, it's left me a gap wedge. This, yet again, it's one of these ones where everything feeds into this particular hole. So I've got probably the right club for this. You know. I'll probably work this out quite well. Just need to put a good swing on it. Slow could hurt me a little bit. It gives us a putt. It gives us an opportunity. We're within 15 feet for sure. Nasty little slider though. Preferably on this one you need it to be below the hole. I actually thought I gave it a good read. Based upon where my ball has finished, I would say I probably hit that too hard. That one's on me. But in all fairness, that's par a par. Should be a birdie hole, really. 12th, trouble down the left. If you miss to the right, I think Brad, do you know what? Brad, I think Brad's looked at these and, and thinking he's got his yardages bang on, as in like where the trouble is. But like there's, there's no bunker short that people are never going to get into. You know, he's given it some good thought. Um, so far, I really like the course, to be honest. I think it's uh, done a good job. Probably helps that um, helps that when you play well at a particular course as well. And so far, I feel like I've played well. Left a couple of putts that um, probably were makeable. But you don't make them all unless you're uh, one of the best in the world. So this, this look at this green. I don't know where these other pin placements are, but you know, you've got three really good areas where you can put four spots. This one here, this this is a this is one you gotta get right. You don't get this right, you're you're in trouble. That's for certain. If it comes back, it could be really good. Just sit down for me. Yeah, we'll take that. That that definitely gives us a shout at Birdie. Please with that birdie there. That's um that second shot there onto that green. You get that wrong. 
you could be looking at three putt country, so we are we are very pleased with that. Par four thirteenth, hundred and eighty three yards, uphill. Front pin looks quite nasty, to be honest. You got a bunker short here, which you get it wrong and you end up in there, I guess. You you're you're in you're in trouble, that is for certain. Um, this is not going to be an easy shot. I kind of feel like you need to be short and long. I'm okay with that. It's uh, that is a tough tee shot, and I think just the, the par threes here have been very very tough. That, 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 I'll, I'll definitely say that. It's, it's certainly a challenge. I'll, I'll put these, you know, I'll, I'll play some tough par threes, but so far I've not had any result on any par three, as you can see. Literally played four par threes and parred them all. Got one more to play. I can even chalk that down as a par, I think, already, because. <laughs> I think Brad's got into a T here. Par 5, 14th bunker at driving distance again. Looks quite straightforward, although if you get your approach shot wrong, especially with this flag. Okay, it's nearly 600 yards again, so it's a bit of a beast. Fast should play fine now, providing there's nothing unexpected happening on the fairway. Took the bounce the other way to what I thought, but we're on the fairway, we've hit 350. Now, <clears throat> I'm not going to, I'm going for it, I'm going to kind of attack it. I just do not want to make sure that I go long and put myself in any trouble. This is just hit the green, two putt, make birdie, get out. Slow doesn't really overly help, but it's on the green. It's around the green. I fully expect to get down in four and make my birdie. Although, yeah, do you know what I was going to say? I hope that goes off the green. Because uh, I felt like a putt from down there could have been a bit of a nightmare. So we're okay. It gives us a good chance to get up and down, make our birdie, move into double figures for the round. Not my best chip, just settle down. Thank God for consumable balls again. Default balls, that probably goes a lot further out. 10 under, 14 holes. Par 4, 15th. A beast. 500 yards. We have a animal of a bunker here. You do not want to get stuck in that. You could actually, I believe, I could be wrong here. You do not want to be underneath this. You you got to place your tee shot good here. I mean, luckily enough, I I'm gonna add my loft for it. I've got to hit the shot correctly. There is a bunkers on the right. If you miss, I'll be taking it on. It could go horribly wrong. Hopefully not. It may not end up on the fairway, but I've avoided the majority of the trouble. Bounce left for me. Thank you very much. We are in play. That's a that's that's a tough driving hole again. We've only got a wedge in, but you've got to get this one completely right. There's not a lot of landing area on this one. You 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 can probably land here maybe. So you got maybe what four squares to land this in. Tough shot. Tough shot. 
that's going to go down the hill. It might not even make the green. I think it will. Yeah, it will. But it gives me an uphill putt. But that's a, that's a tough... On the whole, that is a tough golf hole. I think you can get that wrong very quickly and in a hurry. Anywhere near is fine. I haven't hit the putt, but I feel like it was a reasonably good read. No problem with the par on that one. That's a long hole. Tough hole. Par 4, 16th. Looks very drivable to start off with, but you don't want to get this tee shot wrong. I think I might be able to pull a free wood out on that. Any fast you are dead, any layup, a simple layup, you know, I'm, I'm not going to hit eight iron here, obviously, but, you know, if you're looking to be hitting a four or five iron, you get it wrong, there is a bunker there to swallow it up. Three wood to right play, and I feel like if you can get it on that level, will, will be tough, but I feel like if you hit a good shot, you will get it there. Short okay though. Let's see how this finish up. It all looks downhill and it'll fade to the left there for me. I'll be okay if it stays there on the fairway. It gives me a chip. Yeah, we're on the green fringe. That is absolutely fine. Pleased with that. We've got a good chance at this one. Downhill. We just need to give it a go. No, I pushed that to the right and slowed it. I have to say, I'm a man of standards, but that was diabolical. That was awful. Tried to be too cute with it. We've left ourselves with a birdie, though. Two holes to go. Par three. Shorter end, par three. Bunker here to swallow up anything that sort of you get wrong. Yet again, another one of these holes it reminds me very much of ball cracking. I imagine Brad might have had a little bit of that in mind. Gives you an opportunity at a hole in one if you can get it right. This shot is playing roughly 120, 118 yards. So we're going to put a little bit of loft on this. See if we can birdie a par three for once. I'll hit a slow, but it looks good. It is good. We've got away with that. That a slow normally is my miss, but we finally birdied a par three. Had to be probably the easiest of them, but we'll we'll take that. Par five, last hole. Five forty-eight. Drive looks carnic if you go wrong again. Green, not mental, but if you're going to miss, you need to miss right. That is for sure. Solid perfect to finish off the tee. Happy with that. Hit the ball really well off the tee. <coughs> Can't complain. Nicely down the middle. Let's, just, uh, let's give ourselves a look at Eagle to finish. It's a, uh, a long shot in. It's got a long way to travel to get up here. But it gives you an opportunity to play it into these slopes to allow. This could be a good club. It could be short. Another perfect. We can't hit the ball any better than that. I'm pleased with that. It gives me a chance at Eagle. Let's see if we can knock her in. Finish the round out. I feel like I haven't hit my mark there. But we got away with it and we made the eagle. That's a 14 under, 58. Really pleased with the way that I personally played. 
I thought the course was excellent. I thought um, there's a couple of areas that I thought were pretty manic that uh, Brad put in there on the uh, on the greens and not uh, not very nice landed areas. But that's what makes it a challenge. And to be completely fair, I believe the second hole I stuck one in there pretty tight, missed the putt. The rest, if you don't get your shots correct, you will be punished or you will be looking at a long putt. Um, overall, I thought this was a really, really good um, design from Brad. Uh, I'll be very intrigued to see if he makes anything else in the future. But for me, uh, excellent. Four and a half stars. Uh, I totally agree with that. I think it's a very, very poor cool, Well done to Brad. Um, please go give it a play. Please go give it a like. Um, uh, give, give it some, some good ratings there. So it might not suit everyone, but for me, I thought it was uh, I hope to do more of these. Um, by the way, really, really pleased with my stats here. Um, probably putts for holes could be a little bit better, but fairways and greens really, really pleased with. Um, so on this one, please give it a like. Give us a subscribe and turn the bells on for notifications and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.